What's up, everybody? Wednesday, September 23rd with your day trading update. Uh, a couple things to point out here. One, you can see I've made a lot more trades today than is normal, which I do not like. I like to keep them a little bit uh, less frequent here, but I, I got caught up, uh, got done trading about 12.30 today, central time. But a couple, uh, couple of the extra trades here, we've got the micro 6B, that's the British pound, the euro, and the QM, which is the micro oil contract. So I was kind of testing these out, a couple scratches there. Uh, but oil was was a big loser. These these micros are actually decent size still. They're they're not like the micro ES or MNQ or anything like that. So they actually move. Did take a decent size loss on there. But like I've said before, and I'll say it again, P and L is your only truth. So you know I could sit here and say yeah, but I, I've never traded that before, and I was just testing. So that eight hundred twelve dollar loss doesn't really count. Well, guess what? It is out of my account, so it counts. Uh, so that's part of the deal. But total profit overall today is $816.51. And so still a nice green day, uh, even with that little mishap that we had in oil. Had a little winner in Apple, of my biggest winner in Amazon. Boeing, a small winner. Baba, a small winner. Beyond, a small loser. A couple of almost scratch trades in Facebook and MU. Nice winner in Netflix. So Nike, Nike's one, I actually meant to do this in a separate account. This is actually not a day trade. This is one that I put on as a post earnings trade like we teach in our class. So I'll be holding this for a few days. So that is, uh, that's not part of our day trades. Uh, NVIDIA, loser, Peloton, scratch, Tesla, small loser, Twitter, nice winner, and then Uber, uh, a little loser. So those are all the trades plus 816.51 on the day. Let's check it, take a look and see what we did. Let's just start with the let's start with these micros because we're going to be watching these futures more and placing trades with them as well. When I was looking at this, uh, I had this big move this morning before the market opened. Then it started consolidating below the low of yesterday, and I was trying to catch this uh, catch this down move. It actually flushed me out. It actually did the move, but it flushed me out first, so I just took a little loss on that one. Uh, and then on QM, let's look at oil. So in oil, um, had this uh, had this big move up here, kind of in the late morning, 9:40, started to consolidate. I was looking for a continuation to the upside, and it just flushed me out. So uh, I tried to get back in after this big move and try to see if we get another continuation, and it flushed me out again. So I took a couple losses in oil. Uh, so so uh, that was the that was the big loser on the day. Uh, I did do a pairs trade in the NASDAQ and Dow. I was short NASDAQ, long Dow. Booked a couple hundred bucks on that one. Apple. Let's take a look at Apple. I caught a little downside runner in Apple. So when it started to come down and consolidate, market started to weaken. Uh, I caught a little piece of this right here. And then Amazon, my biggest winner, uh, caught a couple pieces in Amazon. So it was weak all day. I was talking about this in the in the room that I wanted to get short Amazon and when it finally kind of cracked below this pivot and started consolidating, and then the market really took on some weakness, I uh, caught a piece of that. And then I caught another piece here when the market started to break down. So a couple of nice little trades in Amazon. Boeing had a small winner in Boeing. Uh, this is one that we did while I was in the room. I think I took it off after we left, but it was weak. I uh, got... Took a short runner, so I cut a little piece of this. I left some on, and then it started to flush me out. So I just I just went ahead and cut my losses, and actually not not cut my losses, but I booked a small winner. Uh, Baba, I cut a little piece of this t right here in the early afternoon. Um, so when when things started to break down, the market started to break down. It popped up, so I cut a little piece of this right there for a small winner. Beyond Beyond was a loser. And what I did here was I was looking for a downside runner when we had this big push lower, broke the lows of the day, and it started consolidating. I tried to get short here, but it just pushed me up and flushed me out before it turned down. So I ended up taking a loss, even though it did what I wanted it to do, ultimately. Facebook, a little scratch. MU, a little scratch. Netflix, a nice winner. Uh, so let's see what we did here in Netflix. Uh, Netflix was really weak out of the gate. 
consolidated, cut a little piece of this. And then, um, yeah, I guess that was it. I just cut a little piece of that. Uh, let's see, NVIDIA. NVIDIA was a loser. I was trying to, I was trying to catch a piece uh, when it started to consolidate here. I was trying to catch a down move and it just kind of flushed me out. So I just cut my losses there again. Ended up turning down and would have been a nice winner, but that's not, you can't trade in hindsight because that's not what I was seeing at the time. Uh, Peloton, a little scratch. I tried to catch some upside. I actually had a decent winner in Peloton and then it came back down. Uh, I had, uh, I, caught, I caught it right here and I had a nice winner and then I was holding for some more. I, I did scale out of a little bit, but then I held a good chunk and it just came down. So I ended up just taking a scratch on that trade. And then Tesla. Tesla, I tried to catch a little downside and it kind of flushed me out again. It did turn down, but uh, a little, little too late. And then Twitter, nice winner in Twitter. Now Twitter, I put on as a runner, but Twitter did not really run. It pretty much just walked. But it turned out to be a nice winner, $372 winner. I mean, this thing just, it did not make a nice push higher like we thought it would. But, man, this thing just grinded, grinded, grinded higher all morning and just kept giving profits, profits, profits. And I just scaled out, scaled out as it went up and uh, ended up taking my, had started to see some downside. got rid of my last one about right here uh, towards the end of the day, about 1230. And then lastly, Uber. Uh, I was trying to get long Uber when the market was, couldn't decide what it was going to do. I thought it may be strong, maybe weak, but it, it came down into negative territory and then bounced up, started consolidating, pushed higher, consolidated here, and I caught a little bit of this. So I was up on the trade, but then it just flushed down with the rest of the market. So I ended up taking a loss on that. So all in all, good day, $816.51. Uh, we are not going to be live streaming tomorrow on Thursday. We'll be back live on Friday. So hope everybody has a great couple of days and I'll catch you then.